ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ क्लास टेन इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट टू टॉपिक्स दैट इज रिमाइंडर थ्योरम एंड फैक्टर थ्योरम सो आर फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज रिमाइंडर थ्योरम इन दिस this remainder theorem is an indirect method of finding it is an indirect method of finding finding the remainders of finding the remainders of algebraic polynomial okay let's under, understand this remainder theorem by uh, taking an example okay in class 6 or 7 we have studied how to divide an algebraic polynomial for example if somebody ask me to find to divide if somebody ask me to divide 3x square 3x cube minus plus 7x square minus 5x plus 1 and i have to divide this algebraic polynomial by x plus 3 so in class 6 or 7 we have already learned about this division here how do we divide this polynomial by x plus 3 so we simply know that if we multiply x by 3x it will be 3x cube again this plus 3 into plus 3 Three, sorry, three x square. Now, plus three into plus three is nine x square. Next, we subtract this by changing the sign. So we change the sign. The first term will get cancelled. Next, plus seven x square minus nine x square. So this will be minus two x square. Next, we copy this minus five x. Okay. Next, x. Will get multiplied by minus two x to get to get minus two x square. Next, this plus into minus is minus three into two, six x. Again, we'll change the sign. The first term will get cancelled. It has to get cancelled. Next, minus five x plus six x. It will be plus x. Next, we okay. Okay, so we have copied this one over here. Next, this. Will get multiplied by one, so x into one will be x, and plus three into one is plus three. Again, we change the sign. This gets cancelled, and plus one minus three is minus two. So this is the quotient, and the remainder is minus two. So here we have this. Uh, we have divided this three x cube plus seven x square minus five x plus one. This dividend by this div divisor, and we got the remainder as minus two. But if I have to find the remainder by using remainder theorem, then what we do? We take this divisor. We assume this di divisor as zero. So what we do? We take this x plus three equal to zero. Next, from here we get the value of x as minus three. Now, next we write this function f x three x cube plus seven x square minus five x plus one. Now, in place of x we put the value of x as minus three. So where wherever there is x we put minus three in place of it. So three. Again, in place of x, we have put minus three, so minus three cube plus seven. In place of x, again minus three square minus five. Again, in place of x, minus three plus one. So three minus three cube is minus twenty-seven plus seven minus three square is nine. Now, minus and minus plus five three the fifteen plus one. So minus eighty-one plus sixty-three plus fifteen plus one. So minus eighty one. Now sixty three 
प्लस फिफ्टीन इस सेवेंटी एट प्लस वन सेवेंटी नाइन नाउ माइनस एटी वन प्लस सेवेंटी नाइन माइनस टू सो अगेन वी गॉट द रिमाइंडर माइनस टू बट विदाउट दिस एक्चुअल डिविजन सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैलकुलेट द रिमाइंडर बाय यूजिंग रिमाइंडर थ्योरम सो दिस प्रोसेस इज रिमाइंडर थ्योरम ओके लेट्स टेक अनदर एग्जांपल सपोज देर इज अ सम फाइंड the remainder without division on dividing थ्री एक्स क्यूब माइनस सेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस इलेवन बाई टू एक्स प्लस वन ओके सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिमाइंडर बट विदाउट डिविजन विदाउट डिविजन मीन्स वी हैव टू अप्लाई द रिमाइंडर थ्योरम सो वी नो विल टेक दिस डिविडेंड एज फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स सो एफ एक्स इज थ्री एक्स क्यूब माइनस सेवन एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर एक्स प्लस इलेवन एंड वी टेक दिस डिवाइजर एज जीरो सो लेट टू एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो सो टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई टू नाउ वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज माइनस हाफ नाउ इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वील पुट माइनस हाफ सो थ्री इंटू माइनस हाफ होल क्यूब माइनस सेवन नाउ अगेन इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वील पुट माइनस हाफ स्क्वेयर प्लस फोर अगेन माइनस हाफ प्लस इलेवन सो थ्री माइनस सो दिस विल बी माइनस वन बाई एट माइनस सेवन माइनस हाफ होल स्क्वेयर सो माइनस स्क्वेयर टर्म कैन नेवर बी नेगेटिव सो इट विल बी पॉजिटिव सो दिस विल बी फोर प्लस इंड माइनस इज माइनस फोर इंटू हाफ प्लस इलेवन Now, this is minus three by eight, minus seven by four, two one two will go twice. So minus two plus eleven. So minus three by eight, minus seven by four plus nine. So here we'll take the LCM eight. So minus three four will go two times. So minus fourteen. Here we have one. So one will go eight times. Nine into eight is seventy two. So minus three minus fourteen is minus seventeen plus seventy two divided by eight. Now twelve minus five six minus fifty five by eight. That is minus six eight six of forty eight seven by eight. So this is. the remainder by using remainder theorem okay let's move on to the other sums okay here there are few sums which i have already solved just look at the sums question is find the remainder without division without division means we have to find the remainder by applying remainder theorem on dividing fx is equal to 5x square minus 7x plus 4 by x minus 2 so what we do we first take This divisor as zero. So let x minus two is equal to zero. So x is equal to two. Now, this is f x. This is f x. So f x is equal to f five x square minus seven x plus four. Now, in place of x, we'll put the value of x as two. So in place of x, we have put the value two. So now five in place of x again put the value two. So five into two square minus seven. Two plus four, so five. Two square is four. Five into four is twenty. Minus fourteen plus four. So if we simplify this, we get ten. So remainder is ten. I hope it's clear. Next, the other sum is find the remainder without division when 
टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन एक्स माइनस एट इज डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स माइनस वन अगेन वी हैव टू अप्लाई द रिमाइंडर थ्योरम एंड हियर द डिवाइजर इज एक्स माइनस वन सो वॉट विल डू विल टेक दिस डिवाइजर एज जीरो सो लेट एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फ्रॉम हियर वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन नाउ वी कॉपी दिस फंक्शन एफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन एक्स माइनस एट नाउ इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स विल पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एज वन सो अगेन वी हैव पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू वन सो नाउ टू इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वन वन क्यूब माइनस थ्री वन स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन इंटू वन माइनस एट नाउ सिंप्लीफाई दिस टू इंटू वन क्यूब इज वन सो टू इंटू वन माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज वन सो माइनस थ्री इंटू वन प्लस सेवन इंटू वन इज सेवन माइनस एट सो टू माइनस थ्री प्लस सेवन माइनस एट नो प्लस टू प्लस सेवन इज प्लस नाइन माइनस थ्री माइनस एट माइनस इलेवन नाइन माइनस इलेवन इज माइनस टू सो द रिमाइंडर इज माइनस टू एंड दिस विल बी योर आंसर नेक्स्ट ओके द नेक्स्ट सम सेंस यूजिंग रिमाइंडर थ्योरम फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के If on dividing two x cube plus three x square minus k x plus five by x minus two and they and leaves the remainder is seven, so they have already given the remainder. Why they have given the remainder? Because if we notice the dividend, they have they have put a variable k. So again, we'll follow the same procedure. The divisor is x minus two, so let x minus two is equal to zero. and from here we get the value of x is equal to 2 now the function fx 2x cube plus 3x square minus kx plus 5 this will write as fx this is the function of x now in place of x put the value 2 now 2 in place of x again we have put the value 2 the so 2 into 2 cube plus 3 into 2 square minus k in place of 2 x is 2 plus 5 so 2 into 8 16 plus 2 square is 4 so 3 into 4 minus 2k plus 5 So sixteen plus twelve is twenty eight plus five thirty three and this minus two k thirty three minus two k. So this is the remainder. But in the sums they have already mentioned that the remainder is seven. So according to problem we can say that this remainder is equal to seven. Now, if we sim uh, simplify this thirty three minus two k is equal to seven. If you take this minus two k to the other side, it will be plus two k and bring this seven to this side. This will be three thirty three minus. Seven. So two k is equal to thirty-three minus seven is twenty-six. So two k is equal to twenty-six. K is equal to thirteen. So value of k is equal to thirteen. I hope it's clear. Next, using the remainder theorem, find the value of a if the division of x cube plus five x square minus a x plus six by x minus one leaves the remainder two a. This is same as the previous sums. The again see the divisor is x minus one, so let x minus one is equal to zero, and again x is equal to one. We got the value of x as one. Now, the function of x. This is the f x. So f x is equal to x cube plus five x square minus a x plus six. Now in place of x, we'll put the value one, and where in in f x in this uh, polynomial, wherever we get x, we put the value of x as one. So x one cube plus five into one square minus a. The value of x is one plus six, so one plus five six plus six twelve minus a. So this is the remainder. Again, they have already mentioned that the remainder is two a. So we can say according to the problem, twelve minus a is equal to two a. From here we uh, simplify and get the value of a is equal to four. Next, okay. So next next question is. When divided by x minus three, the polynomial x cube minus p x square plus x plus six and two x cube minus x square minus p plus three into x minus c leaves the same remainder. It means in this sums we are going to divide this polynomial by x minus three, and again for this polynomial we are going to divide this again by x minus three. It means we have got two polynomial function, but the divisor is same. So let The procedure will be same. The divisor will assume this divisor as zero. So let x minus three is equal to zero. X is equal to three. Now we are going to take this polynomial. This is the function of x. So we take this polynomial as f of x. 
So f of x is equal to x cube minus p x square plus x plus x. Okay. Now again in place of x put the value of x as three. So f of three will be three cube minus p x square. So we'll write it as three square plus three plus six. So if we simplify this, three cube is twenty seven minus nine p plus nine. The twenty seven plus nine is thirty six minus nine p. So this is the remainder in terms of p. Next. There's another polynomial. This polynomial is also a function of x. So we'll take this as g of x instead of f of x. This time we'll take g of x. Okay. So g of x is two x cube minus x square minus p plus three x minus six. Okay. Now we are going to divide this polynomial again by x minus three. So our divisor is same. So let x minus three equal to zero and x equal to three. So we'll put Three in place of x in this polynomial two. Next, two three uh, into three cube minus three square minus p plus three. Okay, now two three cube is twenty seven. So two into twenty seven minus nine. Again minus three into this. So minus three p minus nine minus six. Two into twenty seven is fifty four. See minus nine minus nine is minus eighteen minus six minus twenty four minus three p. So fifty four minus twenty four is thirty minus three p. Here we have this remainder, and previously we have got this remainder. But in the sums, they have already mentioned that both the polynomials leave the same remainder. It means this remainder and this remainder both are equal. So we can say, according to the problem, this thirty-six minus nine p is is equal to this thirty minus three p. So thirty-six minus thirty is equal to six p, and if you simplify this, we get p is equal to one. Okay, let's move on to the next sums. Okay, here the sum is the polynomial a x cube a x cube plus three x square minus three and two x cube minus five x plus a when divided by x minus four leave the same remainder leave the remainder r one and r two respectively. Okay, so again there are two polynomials. Here we have to uh, the divisor are same, so we'll assume this divisor as let x minus four is equal to zero, x is equal to four. Now we take this polynomial function as f of x, so f of x is equal to a x cube plus three x square minus three. Again, in place of x, we'll put the value of x as four. So a into four cube plus three. Uh, 3 into 4 square minus 3. So here, 4 cube is 64. 64 a plus 48 minus 3. 64 a plus 45. So this is the first remainder. Next, we take this polynomial as g of x, as we have already taken in the previous sums. So g x is equal to 2 x cube minus 5 x plus a. Again, the divisor will be same. So Again, we'll put the value of x as four in this polynomial two, and then two into sixty-four. We got this remainder as one zero eight plus a. Now they have said that uh, the first polynomial leave the remainder r one, so we can take this sixty-four a plus forty-five as r one, and the value of r two will be one zero eight plus a. Okay. Now here they have given an expression that two r one is equal to R two. So since two R one is equal to R two, this is given. This is given. So two in place of R one, we put the value of R one sixty four a plus forty five is equal to R two. In place of R two, we put the value one zero eight plus a. Now we simplify it and we get the value of a as this. Okay, that's the end of the video, and. I hope you all understood, and whatever doubts you all have, do WhatsApp me, and I'll try to clear your doubt over there itself. And just remember that you all are running very short of time, so keep practicing, and all the best.